Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to create an attachment from a base64 encoded string. As you can see on the screen, I have one string which is this is a test string. And now if I encode it, I will use this content to create a attachment using Apex. So let me go to my code. In the previous video, we have created an attachment directly using a string, but now I will try to create an attachment using this encoded version so let me just rename this variable encoded string so suppose if we are, we are having a requirement where we are getting this a uh, content from any api and now we need to insert this content into salesforce as an attachment then how we can do it so let's first of all execute this code and then we will solve the problem if we face any so let me just replace this and uh, let me select the code and execute highlighted. Let me just go here and I hope I will not get any error. So I am not getting any error. Let me refresh the page. So a new file is created at 2.59 pm dummy pdf. Let me open it. And as you can see on the screen, the encoded content is written into the form of a pdf file now we don't want to use the encoded content we want the this is the testing to be written into the pdf file so for that let's try to solve this issue so i will first of all try to decode this string because currently it is in the form of uh, base64 so for that we will use uh, the encoding util encoding util class and from that i will use the method base64 decode and under it i will pass this encoded string and now let's try to execute this code currently we are seeing two files here one generated at 252 pm one which is generated now and now i will execute the code and one file will be generated now after 3 pm so let me go to the code here and execute the highlighted part and here we are getting an error because we are trying to convert a blob into a blob so here we are getting a blob this method will give a blob let me open the encoding util from here so i can show you and if we go to the methods here you can see base64 decode here it converts a base64 encoded string to a blob representation so it is directly converting the string to a blob so let me just uh, go here and remove this method because it is directly converting it into blob so i will remove it and let me try to execute the code again so now the code is executed without any error let me go to debug log and here it is not giving any error let me also execute refresh the page and it has generated one pdf file let me open this and now it says fold failed to load pdf content so this is an issue because we have created a file but it is not able to load the content so let's again go to the code and do some changes here so first of all here we are getting a blob so i will try to convert it into a string so to string Now let me execute this code and when I execute this code it will give me an error because here I am trying to set a string to a type of blob variable. Let me execute here and it is saying illegal assignment from string to blob. So here we have to use the method blob dot to pdf and under that we will pass encoding util and everything. Now let me execute the complete code and it will not give me any error i go here and click on debug only so nothing is shown here let here we are having three files let me refresh once so we will see the fourth file and now if i open this file we will see the content this is the testing so this is how you can create an attachment from a encoded string let me just recap what i have told you so first of all we are getting this encoded string 
into a string variable some of the content is still same like these three lines are still same here we have done some changes first of all we have decoded the string into base 64 this method returns a blob so we have converted the blob to a string and after converting this into a string we are again trying to convert the string into blob.pdf so if i try to uh, print this you will see the output So here in line number 8, we will see this is a test string. Let me execute this code once more. Let it open. I hope it doesn't. Okay, I hope. Execute highlighted. And if we click on debug only, you will see this is the test string because uh, this that line was converting the base 64 encoded string into the decoded string and printing it on the screen. So this is how you can create a attachment from a base 64 encoded string. Thank you very much.